Hi Sagittarius! There you go. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading today for the month of November 2021 and it will be generalized, not a personalized reading. So I hope it resonates with you. And I will also be reading a card. I'll pull a card from the Whispers of Love and also I'll pull a card from the Oracle deck Starseed. Okay, so I hope you uh, enjoy this. <laughs> Okay, here goes Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Please send messages for Sagittarius for the month of November 2021. Sagittarius, any messages for them? Anything they need to know? Anything they need to know to help them out for the month of November? Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Okay. Hmm. So far, that looks pretty good. Anything for Sagittarius? Sorry if I'm sniffing, guys. I do have allergies. My cats like to sit on my altar here. Oh, I'm allergic to cats. I have three of them. <laughs> I have allergy, uh, message for Sagittarius. Come on. Any messages for them? Let's go. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a good one. I like that. Well, so far, I like this. So far, it's good and positive and passionate. Very passionate. What? Wow. That's very good. <laughs> Gonna have lots of fun. Okay. Gonna be very joyful month so far. That's what I'm saying. Any other message for Sagittarius? Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Messages for Sagittarius. Okay. Was there anything? No. Okay. I'll do this one more. Oh, and there it is. Wow. I was going to say, that's it. I'm not shuffling anymore. And look what happened. Yep. Everything is going to be, oh, I'm loving this, I'm loving this. Come on, is there a message for them or something else they need to know? Okay, that's it. And this tells me, uh, right off the bat, it tells me you're going to have a great month. Lots of fun. That's what I'm seeing. It's going to be very nice. There's no negativity. Not at all. And, uh, okay. Alright, so. Hmm. Okay. Isn't it funny, eh? Starts off with the king, ends with the king. <laughs> This could talk to me about gay. Okay. I have no problems with that, but I'm just saying. This could be male or female, or both. All right. So, King of Swords. This is how it starts off. King of Swords, and this is, you know, somebody who's a very strong, powerful person with a, a very intelligent, very wise person. And I think this is you. And it uh, looks like your message is... You're going to get messages from friends and you're going to say, come on, let's have some fun. And I see that's actually going to happen. Yeah, you're going to have wonderful relationships, very nice, passionate relationships. And, but you should know, I want you to know 
Uh, this card is telling me, okay, this is a good card. Okay, the world is the good card. It's all about completion and success, but it's also karma. What goes around comes around. See that big circle? What goes around comes around. So make sure you're good to people. Whatever it is you're doing this month, it looks like you're going to be, you're going to have a lot of people around you, a lot of friends, you're going to have a lot of fun, and there's going to be a little bit of, um, a little bit of a, maybe a bit of a conflict, just a little bit, tiny little bit, but you know what? Uh, stay truthful to yourself, okay? And uh, be a smart person and shrug it off and everything is going to be fine. And uh, that's what I see here. King of Pentacles is all about your health and, you know, finances, building, education, all this is going to be wonderful. Um, if there's anything that you do need, this person is going to help you out. Uh, King of Pentacles, this could be your uh, partner. I don't know why that keeps coming to me, but that keeps coming to me. And you're going to, it's, I just see a lot of passion, a lot of passion. See that red card, the red behind it? That is passion, okay? And wands, uh, sorry, this is pentacles. <laughs> wands is also very passionate. And you have two wands in the deck here. And um, yeah, and so I see this being very nice and passionate, very loving, a lot of fun, a lot of kindness. And be kind. Don't get involved in an argument because don't say anything nasty or be rude because what goes around comes around. And if you stay um, nice to people, <laughs> stay calm and gentle, it, it will be. It will end that way. It will be a wonderful month for you. And that's exactly what I'm saying. Nothing negative is going to really happen. There will be a little bit of conflict. But um, you know what? Just remember, think to yourself, uh, about, you know, be truthful. And, uh, you know, the Hierophant is all about, you know, religion and commitment, tradition, sharing knowledge, all that stuff. And you're going to get some great advice um, from somebody. Or you're just thinking. I see you could also just be thinking about it. So whatever little bit of conflict you had there, it's going to be fine. It's not going to matter too much. Okay? And just remember... Be good, because what goes around comes around. Okay, I'm going to now read a card from Whispers of Love. Isn't that funny? And this, I see a lot of passion here, but it doesn't really mean, doesn't really mean like uh, love making or anything. Passion could also just be being surrounded by a lot of great friends. And I actually do see that. And that's the word that's coming to me. Those are the messages that I'm, I'm actually hearing. A lot of friendships. A lot of friendships. Okay, here goes. Is there a message for Sagittarius? Come on, whispers of love. What is it Sagittarius needs to know? Just for this month of October, November. And there it is. Okay, so practice compassion. <laughs> Didn't I just mention the word compassion and Oh, passion, just definitely passion. It says practice com practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. Okay, isn't that gorgeous? This is all about seeing things from a fresh perspective. All right? So don't let all any kind of uh, negative stuff that you had from the past, don't let that drag on. Don't keep dragging that on. Just let it go. Practice compassion. That'll be very nice. And uh, now this is from the Starseed Oracle. So a message for Sagittarius. Anything to help them out? Anything to tell them? Message from Starseed. Come on. A message for, for Sagittarius. What is there? What is it for Sagittarius? What is it they need to know? Come on. Message for Sagittarius. Come 
on this. Oops, there we go. Okay. All right. Okay, the message is called. So soul gifts and training, it's time to step up. Soul gifts and training, it's time to step up. So you're being called, which means you're getting messages and anything that you can uh, resonate with uh, spiritually. This is all about spirituality and um, yeah, soul gifts and training. So this is, you know, soul gifts and training. Okay, so what I'm hearing about this and this is what I believe in is uh, if, if you just think about all the things that happened from the time you were a child right up to the age that you are right now and you will actually see um, any kind of messages that you had. Uh, if there's something that you really wanted to do, let's just say you wanted to go to college at one time and for some reason uh, you couldn't get in, it was blocked. That is, um, that is an angel. An angel will do that. Your guardian angel blocks it. If you're getting blocked, if there's something you want to do, go down a certain path and it's a block, which means you can't make it, you can't get there, you can't get into that, whatever it is you wanted to do, that is, means that's the wrong path for you. And uh, so the soul gifts and training. So whatever doors actually opened up for you very easily, which means that is the path that you should be on. And um, okay. Okay, so I'm going to let you know what happened to me. This is exactly what happened to me. When I was very young, uh, I got kicked out of the house at the age of 16 and I had to support myself, I had to learn everything and I actually did. Nobody helped me at all and uh, the job that I had uh, was working in the mold making business, I was a steel mold polisher and I could see I did that for about 11 years and then I got to this point where um, I could see the business was getting slower and slower and slower and I was starting to worry. Uh, because they'll let me go first, right? So I, I thought to my, I just kept thinking to myself, what, what is it I should do? What is it I should do? And I thought, you know what? I'm going to open up the newspaper and look at the back of the newspaper because it used to have a list of all jobs that was, um, you know, if, if you're looking for a job, you can open up the newspaper, look at the back page, and it was all about um, employment and all that stuff, uh, companies that were hiring. And uh, so I did that. I opened up the newspaper and all the way down there must have been about 30 job openings for um, nurses registered practical nurses and uh, so I thought okay so I went to a college and I applied and they said because I did not complete my um, I was a high school dropout so I uh, they said I had to f uh, make uh, what was it I had to write three tests go through three tests math English science and so I did I was not the only one there there was a classroom full of people <laughs> and we were all writing these tests and uh, I was shocked I actually passed the English and the science the thing about that was I used to read a lot and I love reading sci-fi fantasy fiction that's my favorite and that's an awful lot of science in there and um, a lot of those questions in the science was were things that I was reading about or what I had read about and um, I passed I actually passed I couldn't believe it I got into the course so I got in and um, I did that for about 19 years and then I had a dream about a house and I said to my husband that's it we gotta uh, buy a new house and so we sold our place and we were looking and I found this house um, this is the house I actually saw in my dream and what happened was I went up to the doorway and my husband said oh he was in this house just that morning with the real estate agent and the real estate agent had to unlock it shut off the uh, alarm system and blah 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 and then when they left the house that he had to turn it all back on and lock the door and then send the keys to the builders it was a brand new house and uh, so when I walked up to the door I, I looked in the window and it was not completed they were still building it and so I went to open the door. My husband said, oh, be careful. You know, it's locked. It's not going to open. So I opened the door. It opened. 
and my husband said, oh my God, it's open? Oh my God, okay, be careful because the alarm, they, we just turned the alarm back on. I walked in, there was no alarm, it did not go off. And I checked, I walked through the whole house and as I was coming down, I actually got, felt a hug. I literally felt a hug. That was a sign, this is the home for us. And this is a soul gift. This is how I'm seeing this. And so um, we bought this house. And uh, after about a year of living here, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, every single time I turned on the TV, immediately there was a um, documentary or a commercial about um, fostering and adopting. And then what happened was, it just kept on happening over and over. Every time I opened up a magazine, immediately there was um, an article about foster parents. Good, positive articles. And uh, it just kept happening over and over and over and over. And finally I said to my husband, I think we have to start fostering. So I looked into the um, Children's Aid uh, Society in our neighborhood and uh, we... They, they came, they checked us out, they will do a home, um, uh, you know, they'll check your home, your home, your life. It's like you're living in a glass jar. And we actually made it through. We had to take a, a nine week course and we did it. And right off the bat, we started getting kids. So we were fostering for about 17 years and I had over 30 babies and we adopted two kids. And um, so this is what I'm seeing. This is soul gifts and training. So which this tells you right off the bat, the doors were opening on the path that you're supposed to be on. And okay, and this is where you're called. This is what the word called means. I know this was a very long story. I'm, I hope I didn't bore you, but um, Okay, so that's it, and uh, I hope this all resonates with you, you people. I hope it works out well with you, and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I had to let you all know that, but that was the only way I could explain this. The card called. I was called, and um, yeah. Okay, and <laughs> anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next month.